Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the gaming application to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole process is super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, we'll have to go to search on your device and here in the search bar, start typing Downloader. And now, as you can see, the loader already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader, and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So to set up the loader, let's go to settings. We gotta click on that button with the gear icon, then scroll down and go to My Far TV. Open it, and here you'll we'll have to enable developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Sticks, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case, and in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps. From here you have to locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it. And here you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which you always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Denmark right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for NordVPN. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we gotta go and open up the loader. Here it is, open it. Wait until it loads for you. Then here on the left side menu, it's very important that you click on Home and not on Browser. So once again, make sure that you have clicked on Home. And then here in the search bar, we gotta enter a link, which is going to be streamia.com. So let's enter it. Once again, streamia.com. So here's the whole link, once again it's streammail.com, you can see the whole link on your screen, so make sure to enter it exactly as you see, and then click on go. And while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks, as well as please hit the like button below this video. It really helps me a lot, and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now when the website opened, you have to click on that sandwich button right here, and then go to the downloads page. Then a new web page should open up. Yep, we also gotta scroll it down until we see the Android TV version of the app. And for the Fire Sticks, I recommend using the 
ARM APK version of the app that should work on the majority of Fire Sticks. So we click on that version, and now in a couple of moments, the download is going to start. Usually, that doesn't take too long, but of course, it all depends on your connection speed. Then you have to click on install and wait for Vistremia to get installed to your Fire Stick device or Android TV, depending on what kind of device you are using, of course. Then don't click on Open yet, instead press on Done, because here this way we'll be able to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on our device. So click on Delete and then Delete once again. This way you get rid of unnecessary installation files from your Fire Stick and save you some free space on your device. And that's really important, because you don't really have too much of free space on your Fire Stick anyway. Now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it. Then scroll down to the bottom, and here you'll find Streamio, which we just installed. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, Streamio is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and therefore, it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.